So this is a very typical scenario we see in clinical practice where you have a patient, 74-year-old male, presenting with cognitive decline going on for the last two months and memory loss, as well as some speech difficulties. And MRI brain, as you can see, uh, we have different sequences, flare, T2 post-contrast, showing you a very ugly necrotic enhancing mass with a lot of swelling and edema in the right cerebral hemisphere and also has some areas of restricted diffusion in the solid part. And if I have to show you the perfusion maps, it's, it's very vascular. You can see the blood volume is markedly increased in the solid enhancing part of the tumor, uh, even over here. Uh, one of the things I struggle with is trying to exactly localize where this enhancing necrotic mass is just based on the axial images. And that's where uh, I would suggest that everybody should look at the sagittal uh, reconstructed images. And that's, those are very helpful to decide. For example, uh, based on the information I get from the sagittal images, you can see that this tumor is actually in the temporal lobe only. It's not involving the frontal lobe, uh, probably going a little bit into the insula over here. Uh, but definitely not involving the frontal lobe if all the edema and swelling is in the temporal lobe. And this is what we typically see with primary de novo GBMs. Uh, the reason uh, I would like to call this a primary de novo GBM IDH wild type is because of the age, uh, more than 40 years. This patient is 75 and presenting with subacute neurological deficit. Now we also know that these tumors are really bad tumors to have. And this is what happens. This is uh, a scan done a year and a half. I'm not showing you all the follow-ups. Uh, this patient did undergo all the therapy regimens available, including uh, surgery, initial debulking, followed by a standard stoop regimen, uh, and even Avastin therapy uh, for the recurrent tumor. Uh, but you can see you know, the tumor is clearly increasing in size. Uh, it, it is, um, it's progressive, and this unfortunate patient ended up dying after 20 months uh, of the initial diagnosis.